All right, well, coming up for us here, we've got Bakersfield Congressman Kevin McCarthy joining us now with Tim Callahan. They're live for us with an interview with him right now. Tim. Do I need a button? Yeah, Jackie, good evening. Uh, thank you for that. We are joined here by Bakersfield Congressman Kevin McCarthy. Thank you. Just getting in here just moments ago. I want to jump right into some issues. Obviously, they're happening across the country. The president uh, releasing an immigration bill, his proposed bill to cut immigration into this country, legal immigration, by 50 percent over the next 10 years. It's been met with a lot of skepticism and controversy about whether this rewrites the, the spirit of the immigration uh, policy and the immigration status to a lot of people entering this country. What does this bill have any chance at passing the House and actually getting into law? Now, this Senator Tom Cotton and Purdue's bill over in the Senate, uh, I think the one element of the bill that I really do like is about the merit-based, about... Um, the skilled workers. Yeah, we, we can change the way... Now it's just a lottery and then it's chain migration, your family. Right. We need to have a guest workers program, especially here for the Valley, one that works well. But you have people who come, want to become a citizen, go get educated in America, become an engineer, and then we tell them to leave the country and compete against us somewhere else. I think we could have an immigration system that actually works for everyone. First thing we have to do, though, is secure the border. Since President Trump has been in, the illegal crossings have dropped by more than 70 percent. So we all know that the immigration system is broken. We've got to have a system that works. And then we can debate what is the right amount of individuals coming into this country. Would, you, would you vote on this bill as is or any modifications? No, I, I would want to say, see a lot of modification. I want to make sure the guest workers programs into it. I want to see how it transforms going forward. But I do like the idea. If somebody wants to become an American citizen, they should speak English. You, you need to assimilate coming in just as every generation before. As my, my grandfather at age 10 came from Italy in 1914 and he had to learn English and I think everybody else should as well. Moving to immigration, uh, excuse me, to health care. Obviously uh, you in the House passed that uh, landmark legislation. The president on the, the Rose Garden uh, congratulating you. It failed in the Senate. John McCain of course uh, putting his thumbs down in that, uh, that quite historic moment on the Senate floor. Does health care have a chance to pass either this summer or in the near future before 2018, before uh, midterm elections, and and is there any version that you would vote on now that's been Health voted? Healthcare will have to pass. Look what just happened last week. We just got a report that nothing about our bill, but just as Obamacare stands today, another 12 percent increase in Kern County in the premiums. And Anthem, who has 30 percent of those in the exchange in Kern County, will no longer offer it inside Kern County. So again, another insurance provider saying no longer participate, premiums continuing to go up. How can we ignore that problem? In the House we passed it, the Senate's going to have to come back to this, and we're going to have to solve this problem once and for all. We cannot sustain the premiums going up and you have 40 percent of all the counties in America that only have one provider. We all know Obamacare is failing. 19 of the 23 co-ops created have already collapsed. We can't continue to have this happen upon the American public. I want to move on to the, the forever GI Bill, a major victory. Obviously, with the, the culture in Washington right now, the uh, divided partisanship, it had to feel good to get that passed. Talk about how this will specifically help Kern County veterans as uh, people who have been in the service for a long time, out of the service, can now go for those benefits uh, years removed from the military, right? Well, the old GI Bill would say you only had 15 years to use it or you lose it. Now you never lose it. So a later time in your life, you you can go back and be educated. It's a big portion of something that I've been working on for quite some time. Also, another element in there is a bill that I had about a vet tech bill, where we have new technology or way of educating yourself, getting these nano degrees, going to work at Facebook. But the old GI Bill wouldn't allow you to attend those courses from Udacity, Galvanized, and others. Mm -hmm. So we want to transform that with a new economy, allow our veterans to participate in that. That's a part of it as well. It was overwhelmingly passed bipartisan, sent to the Senate, and I look forward to the President signing it. I want to ask you about something that's been on, on Facebook and social media the last few days. And of course, you know what I'm talking about, a picture that's been going around online. I uh, made allegations that there was something happening at a a private party you were at for your daughter celebrating her birthday. Um, you're a pretty public guy. Obviously, we do this a lot, and you're on Facebook and social media. Uh, is there a line that's been crossed with what's going on in politics these days, the, the, the partisanship and the, and the vitriol that's sort of passed from each side, Republicans and Democrats, um, and, and the response from that? I mean, do you, what well, would you say to those I think, individuals? Who, I think the problem is, is, you know, so someone takes a picture of me. We're down in Santa Monica for my daughter's 21st birthday. We're just at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm with some friends. One of them happens to be in politics, but he's been my friend for 25 years. My kids refer to him as an uncle. 
Um, they don't come up to me and introduce themselves. They don't talk to me, but they take a picture from afar and then they claim something that's not true. I just drank water and had a hamburger. Hmm. And she put forward and said I was drunk or I was uh, right. tanked or toasted or something. Mm -hmm. And I thought just saying something that's not true about someone with not talking to them, that's where social media goes too far. And we don't have to dislike one another. We don't have to be angry with one another. A person could have come up and talked to me, mm -hmm. asked me questions, had a different philosophy or opinion of me. But I'm always here willing to listen and answer. I just don't think people should lie about one another. And what happens on social media today, people say things that they'd never say to you in person. Right. And I watched a number of people do that back and forth. And so, look, I know I'm a public figure. That's fine with me. All I ask is come up and ask for a photo. I'll be right with you or come and ask me the question. And have the conversation. Yeah. Well, Kevin McCarthy, we appreciate you coming in and having that conversation as well as lots of the issues that are affecting the country. And we're going to post this on our website, turn to 23com as well as our Facebook and mobile and tablet app. And we'll be right back. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.